quick reminder that the Switch Lite cases are still in the merch store available for only a limited time, so grab yours while you can. Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video. We are back with another cursed Amazon plushies video and I am so excited for this one. If this is your first time tuning into the series, basically what we do is we look for some strange cursed looking weird plushies and we buy them, try not to get scammed and see are these plushies a hit or a miss? Are they good? Are they bad? What is going on with these weird plushies? So if that sounds like something you're interested in, don't forget to check out the first couple of videos in this series and stick around for this video to see what we'll get into today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would greatly help me out. And if you're a plushie lover, legally, you you have to subscribe. I'm just saying. I, did, I don't make the laws, but you have to. So anyway, let's get into it. I'm just going to search good old plush. I'm going to see what we can find. Now, I have done a couple of these videos, so some things I've seen before and they're not going to phase me, like this big chungus seal or like the weird raccoons and stuff like that. I've seen this. I've seen this. We're looking for the nitty gritty stuff, the weird things, the knockoffs, anything of that nature. This looks kind of cursed, even though that's legit. Okay, here we go. I found some like knockoff Squishmallow plush. Now I used to do fake Squishmallow videos where we would buy fake Squishmallows off of Amazon and I don't exclusively do fake Squishmallow videos anymore but I'm not opposed to throwing a fake one in here and there on these cursed Amazon plushie videos. I feel like these are pretty cute actually so I don't think these are weird enough so let's keep looking. Where we really find the weird stuff like minion puzzle piece plushies um is in like the suggested things underneath the listings that you find this is where the gold is so we're gonna look through here this is actually pretty cute like a little dragon fruit axolotl i actually like that oh here's another fake one this is a this is actually pretty detailed let's see they've got some other ones they've got a little dog and strawberry yeah, strawberry cow. Strawberry cow. Okay, I don't know why it took me so long to figure out what that was. I'm gonna go ahead and keep looking. And if you scroll past the reviews, you also have popular products based on this item and you can find stuff here too. Oh my goodness, this little cow. That one actually looks pretty cute, but we're gonna keep looking for other stuff. Wait, these are actually kind of cute. Also, by the way, I've discovered this entire genre on Amazon of like mommy and baby plushies, which I guess is a popular concept back in like the 80s, 90s. I can't remember which one, but a lot of you left comments of when I got that dinosaur mommy and baby plushie. Um, yeah, that that was like a popular thing, but apparently it's still popular on Amazon because I've been seeing so many of them. It's just like a big mommy one and then like a bunch of little babies that are inside of her. Okay. But they've got hippo, they've got orange cat and pink axolotl. Open zipper to help her deliver the babies. Okay. Okay. Why are we punching her? Why are we punching her? Please stop this violence. Okay. I can't take it. I, ca I can't take the violence, honestly. Wait, is this an axolotl one? Mommy baby one? Wait, please say yes. Please say yes. Please. Yes. Yes. Okay. We might have to get this one because this one <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one. They have little fins on them and they have whatever this writing embroidery is and these little pictures. Okay, what else do they have? They have a 20 inch mint green axolotl. Love that zoom in. Blue one. <gasps> oh. Leopard cow. This is a no. This is a, just a gray rhino. Okay. <laughs> just a pink axolotl. Okay. Do we do pink or do we do blue? I think I'm feeling pink because I really want that little green one that's in there. Okay. Yes. We're going to add this to the cart. And now all the related products down here are just going to be freaking axolotls. <laughs> okay. I just found another mommy and baby one. This one is, is honestly pretty cute. This one's not weird or strange, but I'm curious the other ones they have. They've got a, a doggy one. They've got a little kitty one and just just the little baby unicorns. Okay. Do you see what I mean about there being a whole popular thing on Amazon with these? We've got flamingos, dogs, dragons. I need to check out these dragons because what the heck? Mommy and baby dragons. Are you kidding? This is low-key really cool. I <laughs> like, wait, they come in little eggs. They come in little eggs. Like these aren't strange or cursed at all, but I want to buy them. <laughs> Wait, there's a frog one. There's a little frog one. Okay, but the zipper is on the back. 
They come out of the back? Wait, they have so many. They've got dino, dog, dragon. <laughs> More dragons are so cute. Duck, fox, frog, tiger, and penguin. Well, unicorn, penguins, whatever those are. Again, I think this is mostly just cute. I have yet to see like a cursed one. Oh my goodness. What a chonky man. I need to see him. Oh my goodness, there's multiples. There's a crocodile. <laughs> there's a little husky, a panda, a Sheba, and a tiger. These are so cute. I think the crocodiles may be actually slightly cursed, especially with those, those eyes staring at me. Okay, I think we're gonna add the crocodile, especially since I'm making a Florida Animal Crossing island right now, so it just, it fits. Oh my goodness, I just found another cursed alligator thing and this one's mommy and baby but it just the zipper is is the mouth the zip no that doesn't seem right okay there's more there's more again there's so many of these on amazon we've got cat dog a chicken a chicken elephant more ducks husky why why is the zipper on the chest i don't get that a shark and friends this is not mommy and baby this is predator and prey although that little purple octopus is is so cute turtle and baby turtles yes i i love the the baby turtles coming out of the mom's shell very realistic volcano and dinosaurs how do the little baby chicks fit in the hen? I'm curious as to how- oh. Oh, that's how. I'm wondering if these come in hard plastic eggs inside the chicken or if that's just the listing picture. I don't know. This interests me so much, but I'm trying not to do too many mom and baby things. Although here I am looking at so many listings for it. Wait, what is this? You can get a sheep plushie that you can shave? That you can just take off the skin or not sorry i know it's not skin the the fur i love how they put pictures of of real sheep this guy's face is so funny there's real real pictures of sheep and the tool they use to actually shave them in the listing pictures like ah yes is this cursed is this weird or is this just cute because i think it just looks cute i don't know you know what i think i am gonna get it i'm gonna add it to the cart because the concept of having a plushie that you shave, even though you're not actually shaving it, but like taking off the fur, I think that's cursed in of, it, in of itself, if that's the phrase, I forget. Right now I just have cursed plushies on the brain, that's all I can think of. <laughs> oh my goodness, if I had space to put this ginormous crocodile, I'd get that because of what the heck. Okay, what is this? What is this? What do you mean reversible squirrel? What do you mean? He turns into an acorn? Okay, um, this might be our final plush that we are getting for today because what the heck. I went ahead and added that to the cart and I think that's gonna be it. Honestly, these are not too weird. These are all pretty cute if I say so myself. They're just a little bit off. I'm gonna go ahead and check out with these. I'll wait for them all to arrive and then I will see you again when it's time to unbox everything. Hello, we are back. All of the plushies have arrived. So let's go ahead and get into these and see how they turn out. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they just straight up weird? I have a feeling some of them are just gonna be straight up weird, but let's get into it. Okay, our first one is, oh, the little lamb. I have never seen anything packaged like this and sent to me, so this is a first. Poor little guy. Let's go ahead and get him out. Release. <laughs> Release. <laughs> we got him. Okay, so here he is out of the package. Looks pretty cute, honestly. He's like in this little sleepy baby kind of position. And then we've got a little zipper also. And the pull part of the zipper is really funny. It's not facing the right way. We see the back of it, but if you turn it around, it's a little like sheer razor type of machine thingy. What the heck? I mean, this feels like a pretty decent plushie, like weight wise and everything. The zipper and the zipper pull is actually metal, so that's pretty good, I guess. I guess let's go ahead and do the thing that we're supposed to do with this plushie. We're gonna go ahead and zipper off the, the sheep fur skin. Oh, and we just remove him. Oh, this, okay. It's just like taking off clothes, I guess. 
And now we have a naked little sheepy. I guess it's pretty funny and the sheep is pretty cute. I mean, I don't really have a lot to complain about. And then we just have the little sheep skin. Oh, let's see how easy it is to get it back into the skin, I guess. That can be, that can be another test. Okay, I feel like that wasn't too bad. And now we just go ahead and zip it back up. But yeah, there we go. <laughs> I guess that was easy enough. This is, I don't know how to feel about this. Is it cute? Is it cursed? I don't know. As for quality of a plushie, I feel like it's actually really decent, like I was saying. Honestly, I have no complaints. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. I don't know if this is a cursed plushie. I, I truly don't. Just the concept itself is wild, but like, it's still good. Anyways, moving on to the next one. Let's go into that same package. And what is vacuum sealed in here? What is this? Oh, this is the squirrel. Wait a sec. Why is this so big? And okay, it's not as big as I thought, but it is much bigger than I was expecting, if that makes sense. There it is. I'm sure this will fluff up a little bit more eventually, but let's go ahead with the zipper and see how this works exactly we go all the way down okay and then oh there he is <laughs> okay how do i deal with this tail situation we kind of have to flip these like inside out a little bit i don't know if that works yes yes <laughs> there we go <laughs> i'm struggling i'm struggling to get it over this like top area okay we're getting somewhere we're getting somewhere <laughs> We're zipping. Yes, we made it all the way down. Okay, so we have the squirrel. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, it's just because of the vacuum ceiling. It's just because of the vacuum ceiling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix him. I'm going to save him, I promise you. I think that helped um, very insignificantly, but maybe made slightly a little bit of a difference. <laughs> Got a big tail big tail like this is excessive for a squirrel i would say like this is not the right ratio of squirrel body and tail quality of the plushie it's not terrible but it's also not the best i would say the sheep feels a little bit nicer it's it's funny it's for the gags it's for the for the lols i suppose i'm gonna rate this squirrel a 3.5 out of 5 i'm taking off points for the tail girth and just because the squirrel isn't anything that special and I don't know if I'll ever be able to fix his lopsided face, so 3.5 for me. Okay, next. This is much big. Oh, this is, this is bad. This is way too big. I don't have room for this. I thought it was going to be like the squirrel size. I thought it was going to be like kind of big, but not like huge. This is a big boy. <laughs> This is a big boy and I have the listing picture pulled up right now on my monitor and I'm so mad. I'm gonna put them side by side. Like, what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? This is like not nearly as plump as I thought it was gonna be. And I have to like hold up his neck, otherwise it just sits like this. So this is how he sits normally. Like this cannot, my dude has got scoliosis bad. I don't know how to feel about this. Like, if there was much more stuffing, like a lot of stuffing, I feel like this would be really good. Aside from that, he's pretty He's pretty cute. He's really soft. I, he's pretty decently chonky. So that's all I really wanted in this plushie. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give it a four out of five. It's good. I feel like it's cute really big, really nice. It just needs more stuffing. That's it. That's it. But anyway, let's move on to the final ones. The ones that I am so excited for, the Axolotl mom and babies. Okay, so they came in a box, but inside of this box was this. Let me try to get this open and I'll be right back. They were not messing around when it came to packaging these up. Okay, yeah, we can just get it out. Huh. Why? Anyways, we have our Mama Axolotl. So she's got this, um, as you wish embroidery and these little like pictures on the side. I don't, I don't necessarily know what this is supposed to be. Um, this is definitely printed, but this is embroidered. So I don't know if that makes a difference. She's got the gills and little flippers. So that's something. And then of course our defining feature, 
we can open her up from the bottom. So let's go ahead and have her give birth, I guess. As we can see, we've got some babies hiding in there. The green one is right on top, which I'm excited about. Okay, so these look just like their mom. This is the cute little green one. Let's go ahead and bring out the next one. Wow, it's exactly the same as the green one, just a different color. <laughs> there we are, little pink one, same little glittery fins, everything like that. And the last but not least, we have the blue one. Oh, she's kind of... Her insides are spilling out a little bit. Sorry, mom. The blue one is definitely the, the lumpiest. I don't know what happened in there. Were they like fighting each other? I don't know. Mom and baby axolotls, everybody. How do we like them? How do we like them? They're definitely soft. I can give them that. They're very soft. It's not squishmallow fabric, but it's extremely soft, like really nice. Let's go ahead and put the babies back inside, you know. They don't need fresh air or sunlight or anything like that. They just need to be in here for the rest of their lives. Sorry guys. So once you put them in there, you can definitely like feel them and she feels like strangely lumpy, especially on the bottom. So that's just kind of like a thing with like the mom and baby plushies, I think. I don't know how I feel about this one. Like I feel like it would have been almost perfect if it didn't have the text and whatever the heck this is i think i would have given it like a 4.5 out of 5 but i'm just gonna give it a 3 out of 5 yeah i'm gonna go with 3 out of 5 and i still stand by the alligator being my favorite what did you think about this batch of strange amazon plushies were they that cursed did you actually like most of them i feel like they were actually pretty cute this time around we just had some weird concepts like shaving a sheep turning a squirrel into a nut. Mama Axolotl giving birth. You know, it's just all all different concepts that we've experienced today here on the Froggy Crossing channel. So let me know, comment down below, what did you like best <laughs> out of all the stuff we got today? What was your favorite? What did you think was the strangest? Let me know. If you wanna see me do more videos like this, also leave me a comment and let me know because I would love to do more. They're always so fun. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.